Today's outcrop of the day is a beautiful example of how quartz textures can record the fluid evolution in an evolving system. The crystals off the wall of the vein here have grown fine comb texture with a bit of a cockade texture as well and they're relatively clear when they start and then there's a zone of white here and that means increased number of fluid inclusions in the quartz and they're slightly larger and then there's a zone here of clear quartz again and then it goes back to white quartz and the crystals are growing progressively larger by the time they get out here near the center of the vein they're actually medium comb size crystals and then there's been a sudden change and we've swapped over to bladed carbonate texture and you can see the plate shaped holes after those thin bladed carbonate crystals and now they're overgrown by fine druzy quartz most of the carbonate from the blades has been dissolved away but there's a little bit left and if I put some acid on there you can see it fizzing so that illustrates just the range of textures you can get in a single system just because the conditions of the fluid evolve over time now that's a pretty interesting vein but it's actually not the most interesting thing on the outcrop the most interesting thing is that that low growing shrub there with the little yellow flowers is a species of polycarpia and I'm in North Queensland now and in that area these bushes are known as a copper indicator mostly because they can tolerate extremely high copper concentrations above about a thousand ppm copper in the soil that'll kill most other plants so maybe I'd better take a sample <laughs> 